Okay, here's kind of, uh, I guess, part two of the uh, the nucleus, and uh, there is a, a break-in period, so to speak. I've cycled this just goofing around, uh, playing with the, the dummy round, ejecting it, looking at that. But I've, uh, but I've also worked the, uh, just worked the bolt up and down quite a bit like that, uh, just to, just to wear it in. I think you guys are aware that that uh, Ted uses the toroidal uh, bolt head, which is curved on the back here, and there's a matching curve down on the lugs and so uh, let me see I should be able to get you to focus in there so if you look right in there you can see where it started to brighten up on the lugs you can see where the lugs stop when they're in the locked position and so if you look there uh, you can see there's a there's a perfect line and so the action has actually worked its way in just by me doing that and I think it's worn off some of the finish so now we're getting down to uh, to some of the bare metal at least that's kind of what it's looking like to me but it is much uh, much uh, faster uh, to cycle easier and so I've got to uh, set that there and then can start to turn it forward and then it locks because it's hitting the top of this and then if you pull it back then you can uh, oops I think I was off screen there but anyhow if you pull it back then you can do that so I've got it back just a quick click over and it comes loose if you push it all the way in and roll it forward and then pull it back then you can just click it in like that and I have to tell you that this is working its way in uh, breaking in as well so I think after shooting it a few matches and and whatnot that it's going to be uh, good to go and in fact it's significantly less uh, to turn the uh, bolt stop so definitely don't worry about that let it break in uh, I have not taken uh, these bolts off I'm going to retorque those and just leave the uh, the scope mount on. Uh, it's pretty neat. Again, they marked it with uh, the uh, 20 MOA base right there. And I'll just cycle it a few times so you can see that. into the uh, so you can see it will snap up in there and then we've got the uh, control round feed action so it's control round and then we've got the ejector right there And you can see it kicking the uh, cartridge out. See it starting to up. So even if you do it slowly, it still will pop it. My experience is it kind of, it's been hard to pop it and leave it there. It kind of flips out so it doesn't tend to stay inside the action. But there's the... Uh, the control round feed and the uh, bottom of the action and let me move my hand and then you can see the uh, the way that the ejector kicks that out so again, got the control round feed it, it snaps up nicely if you come up from the bottom it does have a little positive click once the extractor gets its claw around it 
but uh, we can get some good light here. That'd probably be a uh, good slow mo video. Maybe I'll do that with my with my phone. Oh, apparently I can't do that. That's the. Uh, Oh, I hit my finger. So, not sure what else would be helpful to see, but I will get my. And I don't have a ruler handy. But any measurements or anything that you need, let me know. I'll try to find that too.